There we go. Hello, everybody. We are here to make some fish tacos. Um, fish or shrimp, I've got both. And it's just a matter of assembly. These are really easy things to put together. It's a super, it's a dead simple recipe. Um, and you can play around with it. it. If you don't have avocados, because your avocados are hard, you throw in more cheese or whatever, it, it all works and it's all fine. So let's start by looking at the fish. Now, I went to Sprouts and got a pound of cod, because cod looked good. Not, it, it's not even a pound. It's not even a pound. And some fresh shrimp. And I peeled the shrimp and put all of the peel into a plastic bag that lives in my freezer so that I can make stock at some time, Chick, uh, fish stock. But I'm going to set up the marinade. And the marinade, I, I squeezed the lime juice because, I mean, seriously, these limes are super tiny. And I'd be sitting here squeezing lime juice for five minutes. So lime juice, olive oil, little bit of olive oil. I'm going to throw in the shrimp in one. And the cod in the other. Just a simple marinade. And what am I going to throw for the marinade? Well, pepper. A little bit of salt, because you do. Now, I have this carne asada um, seasoning, which is for meat, but I put it on the, um, the, the fish the other night and it was just, just fine. And it had all of the seasonings that I would ordinarily put. So there you have it. I'm going to do it because I can. And all that I'm gonna do is set those to the side. It's okay to set them to the side uh, unrefrigerated simply because it's not gonna be there very long. You really don't want to leave fish or shrimp in a lemon lime marinade for any longer than about 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes is tops because it'll start cooking the fish and then you'll have ceviche or whatever. I'm gonna wash my hands. So let's start talking about the salsa. Now salsa, I always put tomatoes, onion, whoops, onion, red onion, green onion, could be either one. Uh, I know Carrie, cilantro. But Carrie can't stand it because it tastes like soap. So if you were coming to dinner, I would not, not use this. I'd probably use, use um, parsley or leave it out entirely. Why not? Jalapenos. 
Now, given these ingredients, these four ingredients, you can have an endless number of salsas that are just fine. You can leave out the jalapeno. I mean, maybe you've got a baby girl who hates anything spicy. Well, then you get to use tapatio. Who cares? Um, or someone, you know, doesn't like um, jalapeno. Jalapenos really can vary. They can be hot. They can be not so hot. I mean, it's, yeah, whatever. So these ingredients, now I'm going to make a salad with these ingredients in it and black beans and corn. I just, because Dina didn't want to have, have beans and rice to go along with her birthday dinner. So I'm going to put beans and um corn together just a can it can be a can it can be um uh, frozen corn it doesn't matter whatever you have in the meantime what are we going to do well first i'm going to cut up tomatoes and Just chop up some tomatoes. Oh. Need a good sharp knife. Make So if this were summer, I would be using the tomatoes from my garden, but oh well. And red onion, which I really like. I like the taste of. All right, so we've got, now I'm gonna use half of this for the salsa and half for the salad. There. So Kate, what if you just threw all that in a food processor? Is that something you could do? Uh, I personally don't, would rather have the chunks I'd rather have the chunks, but why not? You could put it in the food processor. That'd be fine. Um, I like having chunks of stuff for um, the fish tacos. That's just me. Uh, you may, and, and you know what? You don't have to do this for, for, um, fish tacos anyway, you could use, you could use um, something that is prepared from the supermarket. Why not? It's easy. Oh, avocados. I almost forgot. Avocados. So you just dice them up. And 
and throw them in. That was the neatest trick when I found out that you didn't have to remove it and chop it on the board and stuff. It was just fine. So, um, the avocado going. Now, if you don't have avocados, leave it out. If you, if you uh, go to the supermarket and all they've got are those rock hard avocados, not a problem. Okay, so let's look at the pepper. All of the heat from the pepper or at least most of the heat from the pepper is going to be in the white part and in the seeds. I always wait till the end to do this to, so that I will, I have to wash my hands afterwards because otherwise I'll touch my eyes and it will not be a happy person. I will not be a happy person. But if you, and you kind of smell it. Some jalapenos, this one is much more close to a red pepper, I mean a green pepper, than, than a, a hot thing. But you get to choose the level of heat that goes into your salsa, which is another reason why I like making my own. So, and when I chop it up, I make it very fine so that nobody gets a real, unless my son comes and then, then we put chunks of it in because he's crazy. So we got the pepper. And then Cilantro. And again, just chopping it up. Now you can, if you're, if you like making beans from scratch, I would freeze this and you can make, use this. I'd freeze all of the stems of the cilantro and that makes, uh, if your chicken, if you don't have chickens, this, this will be just fine for like a soup or a stew or something that was braised. So I'm gonna throw in that. Okay. And so what do we do with this? Again, this is just, it's totally up to you what you want to do with it and how you want to do it. Um, this, would, I would put, um, lemon juice, I mean, lemon or lime juice in here. A little bit of lemon or lime juice. There we go. Um, I don't know, garlic powder. And salt, pepper, salt goes into this salsa as well. If I were making mango salsa, 
I would probably put a little bit of honey in it, just a tiny bit of honey. But since this is just corn, this is more of a salad, corn, avocado, there's that. It's just your plain salsa. If you want, you can put more um, lime juice in. If you want, you can put a little bit of olive oil, maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Um, you're just playing around with it until you get it the way you want it. So I'm going to turn on this so that we'll get we'll get the pan heated up. I'm going to clear the decks a little bit. <laughs> and it's now time. What else would you serve this with? Well, some queso fresco that I'm going to crumble up. That's really good. Some, um, some red cabbage which I will shred up. It doesn't take very much to put on, put on your your tacos. Um, what else? Uh, possibly if you were really into it, you could put up some, you could shred up some um, radishes. I'm not a huge fan of radishes, but you could. Um, oh, crema, sour cream. If you don't get this crema, which is just lovely, I'm going to put some, some, um, olive oil in the pan that is heating up. If you don't get, if you don't get the Mexican crema, use a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of, of lime juice. It, it tastes just the same and it's quite lovely. So um, let's go fry the fish. I do not bother cutting up the fish into tiny little pieces. Why bother? But I'm gonna wash this pan out and use it. Fish is going to cook really fast. So this is probably going to go for about three minutes on one side and until it starts turning, turning white around the edges. And then you flip it and do it for another three minutes or minute, minute and a half and you're done. Shrimp is even, even more <laughs> fast than that. Um, and I probably am going to move this over and throw the shrimp in there because I can.
And you're only cooking the shrimp until they turn pink and they look done, which will happen very quickly. Make sure your pan is very hot. And then you're pretty much, uh, the only thing you have to do from this point on, if you've got all of your stuff together, all you have to do is heat up your tortillas. And I'll show you how I heat up my tortillas in just a second. I'm gonna clear the decks a little bit. Um, make this look a little bit more presentable. Okay. The shrimp are beginning to look done. The fish is really not bad. Let's see. Nope, not done yet. So, how do you cook your, your tortillas? Tortillas can go either into the microwave or on a griddle, or you can just throw them on a, a gas burner. and toss them. And they get a little charry, which is what I really like. I like that taste. Where it goes, where it gets all kind of charred. And you just keep flipping them throw them into a towel. The thing that's nice, you can get these done ahead of time, not ahead, but you before everybody gets, you know, when, when everybody is about ready for dinner, you've got everything set up, all of the salsas, all of the stuff that goes in. And then it's just a matter of assembly. Now you can assemble tacos in, in the kitchen on a platter so that every, yeah. Or you can just take everything to the table and set it up. Um, if you have all of your condiments made up ahead of time, 
it's the easiest thing in the world. You just put everything out on the table and people construct their own. I'm gonna make a couple more. But that's the, this is the easiest thing to do is to put it over a gas burner. Though if you've got electricity, I don't know what you do. <laughs> but it's just really simple, simple to do. I, my neighbor, uh, Alida, was the one who showed me this technique. And I've been doing it for years and years. If you've got a barbecue, if it's on the barbecue, you put it, you put it directly on the barbecue and it's great. So how do you construct it? Let's construct a couple of Oops. So we have two kinds of salsa and let's get this off of here. <laughs> Okay, so get your tortillas set up. I do not like um, crisp tortillas in tacos, no matter whether it's meat or fish, I don't like it. So, and we put on Take some of this fish, cut it. Cut it into pieces. There. Okay. Get some of the shrimp. Nice salsa of your choice. If I wanted to, I could put guacamole or um, I could leave out the avocados and put avocado slices. It's up to you. You get to do it. You are the master of your tacos. Throw in a little bit of red cabbage, shredded red cabbage. and a little bit of salsa fresca. And if you didn't like any of it, any one of these things, you d wouldn't have to put them on to your tacos. But there's your tacos. So, and they're going on the table so that my sister and Diana can have some, but they are quite lovely and very delicious. If you want them a little saucier, you can put tapatio or a little more, a little more hot. I would probably serve this, this particular salad on the side, the corn and, but it would go, it would go just fine on the, on the tacos themselves. So there you have it, fish tacos. So, and it's super easy. It, I'm telling you, it's like one of those things that would make any super chef beat their head against their walk, you know, whatever. It would just, it's really simple to do. It tastes lovely, and I think you would like it. So there you have it. Does, any questions? 
Anybody have any questions? Brava. Yes. <laughs> I yeah. want to share with you all, this is my favorite seasoning uh, that I got at um, Vallarta. They were doing like a taste, tasting thing, and it is Chef Marito uh, seasoned tenderizer. And I put this stuff on fish and on my carne asada and on my chicken. Anytime I'm cooking anything Mexican-ish, this is what I use. It's the best. You, where yeah, are you getting you it, carry? I got it at Vallarta, but I also have bought it on Amazon. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got this at Vallarta. <laughs> I got the carne asada, which I put on everything too. I don't, I don't think we have a Vallarta. What is that? Uh, it's a, it's like a, a Mexican supermarket oh. that's beautifully clean and just like gorgeous and like it is a beautiful beautiful mexican market and they have they have all the pre-prepared stuff which is right beautiful, really but then good they too. have all of these wonderful spices too okay i forgot to put the crema on <laughs> horrors crema is so good so there you go I mean, they have tons of stuff at Vallarta that I was very impressed with. But um, Baja is another chain that looks like Vallarta and has some of their stuff too. Um, they have a tortilleria there. They make their own tortillas and you watch them make it. Oh. It's great. It's great. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoy these tacos. I'm, my sister is going to enjoy them. I, I'm sure. um, they are just delicious. I I'm, went through it on um, Monday night. And, and the thing is, these are very healthy. Look at all of the fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. Look at how you're not eating, you're not putting anything processed in your body. Oh, what's not to like? So there you are. And um, thank you very much for coming. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I love these. It's also good for a crowd because people can enjoy um, making their own. You know, and everybody you, loves tacos. And everybody loves tacos. So next Taco Tuesday, you can do, you can do this. Um, I'm oh, going to do mine tonight. <laughs> I think I'm doing mine tonight too. Taco <laughs> Thursday. Scary. It's Taco <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> so uh, enjoy. I will see you next week. And see you next week. Thank you, Kate. You. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Kate. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. I, I just wanted to say I heard, just heard from my daughter, so yay. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you for the flowers. <laughs> you heard from your daughter? Yeah, she texted me one. Oh, hi. So I'm encouraged. <laughs> good. Good. I'm so glad. <laughs>